Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to build a bench for my front patio out of some leftover two x four from the sofa that I built a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Um, they've been already well, ran through my planer. I've already cleaned up the rounded edges so these boards are ready to go. I have a whole bunch about this size, have some smaller ones and I have a few eight foot um, tall um, boards that I just have sitting around here and I've been holding on to them so I can build this bench for my front patio um, which is not built finished yet um, we have the deck up but everything else is still need to be done but it's been raining so much with birthdays and then vacation and all the rain that we have and especially living in Charleston you want to go out in the boat as much as you possibly can so we just haven't really been working on the front porch renovation that much but i did want to build this and i've had this cushion for about a month now um, and i am going to build the bench based on this cushion size so it's going to have a bag it's going to have some arms and it's going to be perfect for me and my husband and i might also build a table who knows if i have the time i'll do it but yep so let's get started. I got my two by fours. I got my cushion. Let's begin. Okay, so I was having so much difficulty with this leg right here um, because I did it all wrong. Um, <laughs> I think I put way too much glue on this one so the wood was sliding around. I have everything um, measured um, up to 18 inches right here. So all the legs should be 
cross your fingers, all the legs should be perfectly um, at 18 inches. Um, so the base right here will be, um, the top would be 18 inches. So yeah, um, I did that wrong. I didn't, I didn't film what I did the rest of the, with the rest of the legs because I just didn't want you to see that. So these two are being glued up and held into place with my clamps. Um, the back legs are being held down, um, at at the 18 mark by gravity. So I'm not gonna move this. I'm gonna let this glue up. Um, I also had to mark where my screws were. So when I did screw, when I screw these into this board right here, um, I don't hit the screws. So I got that marked off on all the um, studs. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go take a break. I'm gonna go fishing with my best friend and my husband and when I come back, hopefully this will be dry and then I can screw everything in and then we can start on um, the backrest, um, the armrests, and I might do some more support since I actually have some extra wood um, down at the base and then I can actually cut the seating part and then this should be done. So I'll be back.
All right, everyone, here it is. Here's the bench that I built. Um, super, super, super simple. Um, I had a basic design in my head, which is a classic park bench that you see around in parks. And so I built this based on a park bench and of course the based on the size of that cushion that I had. Um, all built with leftover two by fours and one by fours. Um, if you had to buy the wood to build this, I would say it would cost you maybe about $30, depending on the price of your wood. Um, it's about maybe, um, maybe four to five two by fours and four one by fours um, to build this if you had to buy the wood. So if you would like to attempt this, super simple, definitely give it a try. Uh, again, from the video you saw, I built the frame first and then added the legs and the arms and then the, the seating area or the seating um, part, the one by fours. So it was super simple, very, very, very easy to build. This is very customizable, so you can do um, whatever design you want. There's nothing complex about this build. So I highly recommend you give it a try. I did stain it a classic black and then I also um, took some sandpaper and distressed the arms a little bit to give it more of a distressed look. And I think it looks perfect out here. It looks great with the cushion colors and um, the harbor gray color that we did paint the deck. Um, I do have to adjust the colors of my tall planter boxes because the cedar does not match, but that'll be another, another day. Um, and if you haven't seen this build, I'll definitely put a link below to this one so you can check out how to make those planter boxes that are super simple but yeah here it is I hope you enjoyed it um, Ooh, one more thing before I forget I did make it a little bit taller down here because my let if I sit on it my legs swing the reason for that is I'm planning on building a table that slides underneath and that you can pull out whenever you need it that also um, is a bench as well so if we had someone come over we could pull that table out and they could have something to sit on if they wanted to. Um, so I'm planning on building that. So stay tuned for the next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video again. Please like if you like the video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Share the video if you know anybody who would like this content and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day.